based on all my research this is what I'm coming up with and please correct me if I'm wrong it looks to me like a child of let's say 13 years old or younger or older in the Watchtower Society organization can be baptized as a mature minor can engage in sexual relations with an adult and then when her parents choose to press charges against the adult all the evidence is then quashed by a motion filed to the court to suppress said evidence now this is where I'm having trouble understanding the world that is supposed to be part of Satan's wicked system will do an investigation and if the person is found guilty of having sexual relations with this child it's declared statutory rape and the person sent to prison in the Watchtower Society from what I'm understanding if such a situation takes place the elders ask if the child screamed out and if the child did not scream they view it as consent and they would move to then disfellowship both members the adult and the child if the child had been baptized yet nowhere does the watchtower society view this as a crime but it looks to me like they view this as if the child did something wrong worthy of punishment maybe I'm not seeing this right the world sees it as statutory rape that they view this child as not having the providence or foresight to prevent such a thing or to say no and they would view the adult as being overreaching where the Watchtower Society says no both parties committed a sin and both parties need to be disfellowshipped now here's the scenario a man has consensual sex with the child in Jehovah's organization the child or her parents or both come forward and report this to the elders the elders then do an investigation find out that the child didn't scream rule it as consensual sexual relations and move to disfellowship both parties when the child's parents proceed to take it to the authorities for action against this adult the watchtower society has their elders file a motion to suppress any evidence under the priest penitent privilege maybe I'm not seeing this right what I see happening here is a child being raped and then the whole thing being covered up where even the child could face this fellowship and cut off from her friends within the congregation her social network and such for making a bad decision to have sexual relations with an adult now the reason why the world's authorities punish adults that have sex relations with children is because the worldly authorities do not feel the child has the foresight to make such a decision where apparently the Watchtower Society feels the child had this foresight to make this decision and should have known better. Well, when a man of authority, such as an elder in the congregation, shows interest in a young person and then it becomes sexual interest, don't the elders understand that that child is not of the same mental capacity as an adult please correct me here if I'm off in my thinking 